guys welcome back to my channel so I recently bought a few stuff from Ulta and it finally came in it came in really really fast considering everything outside but basically I got the kiss falsgara the bond and seal and I want to test this out so badly because you guys know I get lash extensions like all the time so as you guys can already tell my lashes are literally bare basically non-existing well kind of existing i have to zoom you guys in so you guys can see but i've basically been using the babe lash essential serum this thing has been so so good my lashes look so bomb and i'm just like i'm taking a break from lash extensions but i kind of miss them but i don't want to commit to them so i figured why not try this so yeah, if you guys want to see my first impressions and everything on this Falsgara Bond and Seal, then go ahead and keep on watching. So these are my lashes without any mascara or anything. I did put serum on before I took a shower, but just put my eyebrows on after the shower and this is what we're gonna be working with so to begin with i was gonna buy the full kit for the kiss falscara and it is on sale at ulta right now for 40 off so go ahead and definitely don't miss that deal as well it works on any of your lashes as well you guys know um the style chiffon is my favorite so definitely go ahead and purchase those because 40 off heck yes the reason I only have eyebrows on, like absolutely nothing on my face, is because I figured I kind of treat this like actual lash extensions. If you want your lash extensions to last, you don't want anything on your face at all because that would kind of reduce the amount of time it's going to stay on. So yeah, I figured I might as well just buy the seal and bond and then use my own lashes. I was going to use like thicker lashes. But I think I'm going to stick with the same wave of KISS lashes. So I'm currently debating using the style Pixie by KISS, which are these right here. Or the style Chingon. Chingon. <laughs> these are both by KISS. So what I'm going to do is I'm literally going to glue them on together. Like stack it on to make them really, really dramatic. Because these are a little bit longer at the end. Which I like, I just hate that they're really separate. So I figured I'm going to stack them on top. I'm going to be using um, regular lash glue just to glue it on top and then afterwards cut them up. I'll be right back once I finish. Alright, so I ended up cutting the left side with three sections. I'm going to do that side first just to see how that works. If I do end up needing to cut them into four pieces, then I'll put that on this side and we'll see which one works better but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and start it says on the box that the bonding time is just to brush a light coat of the bond on our natural lashes a little goes a long way the second step is to wisp under the lashes use an applicator to apply the lashes on the bottom where you apply the glue and do them one by one then step three is just seal the deal so you dab a thin coat of the seal under the wisp this final touch eliminates any sticky residue and holds wisp in place so it sounds really easy and self-explanatory so i kind of figured like it's gonna be easy so i'm just gonna take it out it kind of reminds me of like a mascara mascara on one end and the primer on the other side so the bond is on this side we're gonna use that side first and it does have a nice curve to it which is good because that's just going to make it a lot easier to apply it. And the brush is really small. So I'm just going to like kind of like spooby my brushes out with my finger. Because I'm ratchet. And we're going to apply it on the outer end first. I'm not even going to lie. It does feel pretty sticky and weird. I don't know. So let's go ahead and apply this right underneath. really easy to do <laughs> I think it's really easy for me to do just because I used to apply my lashes underneath but I just don't do it anymore but let's go ahead and do the rest it's cool, it's cool. this is what it looks like with the second lash you can already see how dramatic they are I love it this literally reminds me of how my lashes look when I get them done um, let's go ahead and finish them up honestly I think I'd be fine with just the three sections 
wow i'm shook if you are having a little bit of difficulty what i would recommend is kind of just going like that and apply the lashes like that and also when you grab the lash you don't want to grab it on the side you want to grab it just like that like literally right there because you want to hold your tweezers like this so then it's easier to apply you kind of just go like that pop them on and voila you're done um you don't need to buy the tweezers that come with it trust me you can definitely make your tweezers work if anything maybe these would help you a little bit more these are by be great beauty they actually don't sell them anymore because this brand no longer exists which is so sad but yeah the tweezers regular tweezers would work fine as well it's cool. It's cool. So this is what my lashes look like they look super super good you guys you guys can even see like the line which is what i loved about applying lashes underneath but um i will say the bond you can honestly feel it once you like apply it on the lashes because it feels super super heavy heavier than my dual lash glue which is the glue i use for my individual lashes and it makes it last like two weeks so i think this might last so the last step i'm going to apply is the seal which is the one on the top so it says dab a thin coat of the seal under the wisp and that will be the final touch so we're going to do that um also just before you guys ask me this does have a smell to it i don't really know how to explain the smell but it does smell like kind of like chemical I don't know how to describe the smell but it does have a smell to it it's not super super strong or overpowering now let's see a seal the seal smells a little bit like acetone but it's not like an overpowering acetone smell so it doesn't smell as strong as nail polish remover or anything but let's go ahead and apply it right underneath so basically just where we applied the glue Alright you guys, this is literally it. So I'm gonna wear these for the rest of the day, see if they probably fall off or anything. I am going to do little checkups and everything day to day kind of. If I see that they last me when I'm in the shower tomorrow, then they're gonna last me. It looks like I literally want to go get them done and this was literally like five dollars you guys. It's like three o'clock right now. So tomorrow I'll take a shower around 3 and if my lashes stay on then it's worth it. If they don't then there you have it guys. Like it's not going to last you like lash extensions but are they really cute? Yes. We'll see tomorrow after I get out the shower and stuff. I'll keep you guys posted though. Right now I definitely do love them though. Update. It's the same day. I just went to sleep in them. the next morning they're still on um so honestly i really do not feel like working out today so we're gonna skip the workout today um but i'm gonna go take a shower right now i'm really nervous if they come off then it's over <laughs> okay i just got out the shower and they're still on like this part this eye right here still is like falling off a little bit but that's how it was yesterday i probably just didn't apply the glue right on that side but they're still on and i took a really hot shower and it was probably like 15 minutes long okay so it's like eight o'clock now and i took another nap don't judge me but like i literally feel something stabbing my eye on the side i think the like bond is like ungluing kind of sorry i'm taking my dog out oh yeah like it's stabbing me you see it <sighs> it's definitely gonna come off before like um the two weeks or anything but i will say it definitely was worth it i felt like my lashes literally look like i have lash extensions and everything um it was really really good the bond did last a really long time too so 
really impressed with that as well so i still rate it like a good i'm gonna say like a 7 out of 10 because i mean if you want to do like lash extensions you want them to last a little bit longer then this probably isn't it just go get your lashes done girl um but yeah i definitely do recommend them i really like them and i really like my lashes my dog started barking but anyways yeah that completes my video today if you guys did like it then go ahead and give it a huge thumbs up subscribe um click the little bell notification down below so you guys can be notified whenever i post a new video and i'm sorry it's so loud but yeah i love you guys and until next time the next morning